Hey guys, welcome back. I'm really excited. This is the culmination of my favorite products over the course of 2016. You guys know that I, am, I love to try a ton of different products, but these are the things that I found myself reaching for over and over again over the course of this year. So I'm going to try to limit every category to five things or less so that I'm making sure that I'm just selecting the best stuff that has been working for me. Not just stuff that's like good, like this is like the best things that I've been using over the course of the year. So it was really hard to narrow it down, but I wanted to make sure that I'm only telling you guys about the stuff that I was just blown away by this year. And what else? Oh, there might be a few items that you see multiple times because I do have some things that are good for a variety of different uses. So you might see something that's a great deep conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and moisturizer. I have something in mind for that specifically that you will see when I get to it. So you might see something that shows up a few different times. So we're going to get started in wash day order. For so this category, pre-poos, I had to start off with my, my Boo, my VO5 Tea Escapes. They've changed this since I first started talking about this product, but this is now known as the Green Tea Refresh. This stuff, you guys, I've literally probably gone through 100 plus bottles at this point. I've been using this for about 10 years now. It's under $1. You can often find it on sale for like... I think the cheapest someone told me is they found this for 59 cents. I see it all the time at Rite Aid for 79. It is amazing. It's a silicone free conditioner, which is something that I look for in most of my products. It has the best slip. It's so good for it not to have cones. The way that it gets through my hair is amazing. I used to use this on wet hair to detangle, but you guys know now I do my detangling on dry hair and this still performs amazingly the fact that it's so cheap I don't feel bad about using a lot of it because I usually go through almost a full bottle per detangling session which isn't bad the more conditioner I use in my hair to detangle the better my results so all my pre poos are stuff that's really really affordable so you can't lose with this It's so good so many people have tried this since I've been talking about it over the years and say that they love it and I'm so happy because it's cheap it works and it moisturizes so love this stuff another pre poo that I always will have in my stash as long as they don't discontinue it I'm so sick of these companies discontinuing stuff you guys it's the worst um, but yeah the suave everlasting sunshine this stuff is so good it's actually more moisturizing than the vo5 it's a little bit thicker and it's just great this actually gives me more moisture than some deep conditioners that I've tried in the past so if you want to add like a little bit of honey and oil to it, it also makes a fantastic deep conditioner. But this is just phenomenal. It smells so good. It's just another winner. Now this is actually not the product that I'm going to be raving about, but the packaging is identical. I actually hate this. This is the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo, but I'm just using it as a prop here because the conditioner is actually my favorite pre-poo of this entire year so I'm just using this to show you guys what it looks like if you haven't seen it but um, this is only available at Trader Joe's of course it is $3.99 I believe but what was that <laughs> I always have some weird like word concoction that happens in my videos but yeah guys this stuff is so good this is actually the product that changed my whole detangling game that switched me from detangling on wet hair to dry hair and it was just a game changer and it just is a the slip on this is just on a whole nother level this is another product that is silicone free which I absolutely love it has that awesome tingle so while I'm applying it to my hair it feels really good on my scalp also and yeah this is my favorite pre poo of the year I'm all out of it because every time I go to Trader Joe's all I'm thinking about is food so um, I need to remember to get some more next time I go so those are my favorite pre poos of the year so next we are going to talk about cleansers so on to our shampoos of the year the first thing I want to mention is actually a clarifying shampoo but I find that it's very very gentle on the hair and as someone who you guys know on wash day I go in I use a lot of gel I use a lot of oils and butters and leave-ins creams all that really helps to keep my hair hydrated but I also want to make sure that I strip all that away so that my deep conditioners can penetrate and work their magic so it's important for me to use clarifying shampoos but this one is good just as a nice standalone shampoo this is the we dad super fruit renewal clarifying cream shampoo 
it is sulfate free which is great for a clarifier because the ones I used to use back in the day would just like strip every ounce of life and soul out of my hair so it's really good to use something that's gonna clear all that stuff away but leave my hair still feeling soft and moisturized to a certain degree so this has really cool stuff and it. it's got papaya banana cranberry blueberry so a really nice mixture of ingredients which is where you get the super fruit name so another product that i have that i am all out of unfortunately that i love is my all things au naturel due to awesome shampoo i don't have it but i do have a review so i will post the review right here if you want to check it out matter of fact everything that we're going to be talking about today about 90 percent of the products already have reviews on them so if you'd like to know a little bit more about any of the stuff that i'm talking about nine times out of ten i will have a review on it so i'll post those down below of course in the description box but that one was so good it has neem peppermint tea tree oil and it really helps to cleanse my hair and just leave my scalp feeling so amazing so if you have like scalp issues that stuff is really good because it helps to heal that with also having the benefit of cleansing your hair and leaving it very very soft so that's great that was like a gentle very natural shampoo that i enjoyed this is the elosense moisture benefits shampoo this is another product that i've been using pretty much since the first time i went natural in 2006 i've been rocking with this i've gone through so many liters of this which for me in a shampoo is saying a lot it is just on another level it's so good it's sulfate free it is glycerin free it's just an amazing shampoo it softens my hair the moment that i put it on which is very very strange for a shampoo it leaves it feeling so nice it does help to detangle a little bit which for my hair is very very special and it smells like peaches it's just the best of both worlds um it also helps to reset the ph balance of your hair which is really good and it just gives you such a soft gentle lather and such a pleasant shampooing experience it gets rid of all the dirt all the oil and it leaves my hair softer than before i applied it i just i just <laughs> so good and the price is so good it's usually twenty dollars for this huge liter which is a great deal it's on sale on Curlmart all the time it's on sale now but unfortunately the moment they have a sale the Ellison stuff sells out like that so this is sold out right now but definitely keep an eye out for holidays I always post about sales that I found out from Curlmart on my Facebook when I find out about them and yeah definitely stock up on this if they're having a sale because it goes really really quickly so yeah this is my favorite shampoo of 2016 pretty much almost every wash day I was using this I had to force myself to use other stuff it's so good you guys now we're on to my favorite product category and also the one that it was the hardest to narrow stuff down I probably have more deep conditioners in my stash than anything else because I love them so much and they're such a huge part in me maintaining healthy hair and having a good wash day in general so it was really really hard to narrow down is the kinky cashmere infused hair mask I first met the owner Ashley at the world natural hair show about three years ago now and I've tried everything from her line everything is fantastic this deep conditioner is so wonderful it's one of the ones that I reach for if my hair has been feeling out of sorts and I need something that's really gonna infuse it with a lot of much needed moisture and this is one of the ones that I can count on to bring it back to life the Shea Moisture Super Fruit 10 in 1 rinse out conditioner but this actually performs better for me as a deep conditioner than the actual deep conditioner from this line this stuff y'all we're, we're gonna get real familiar with this in my favorites video is so good it gives so much moisture so much slip it has the perfect consistency for my hair this is a great great product and last but certainly not least is my number one favorite deep conditioner of the entire year this is like a coveted spot because i hold deep conditioners in such a like high regard in my wash day the miel organics babasu oil and mint deep conditioner this is just can we get a gallon size can we get a gallon size this stuff is so good you guys this has moisture and protein like i mentioned in my review of it so it's really good for me if i need more moisture but i still want a nice little hit of protein because for me it airs more on the side of moisture than protein but again for my ladies who are protein sensitive this might have enough moisture and protein mix to where you could use it as your protein conditioner without worrying about getting overloaded um, because it doesn't use hydrolyzed proteins it's got like amino acids 
and um, a lot of cool stuff like that as the actual strengthening component. But this just, it's so good. It feels so good on my scalp. Um, I love the scent. I know a lot of people don't like the scent. Trini Girl Natural, if you are watching, um, she hates the smell of this, but it's one of those things where if you can smell it, try to before you purchase it because it is really, really strong. It has a very strong mint type of fragrance, but I love it, but it's, I can definitely see how it can be polarizing, but I love the scent. I love the way it feels in my hair, the way that it makes my curls look and feel. It just gives me so much moisture and smoothness and it just sets me up for a great wash day every single time that I use this. This stuff is just magical. I love this. This is one of the type of products where I could use it every single wash day and never get tired of it. It's so good. So when I'm noticing some extra breakage on wash day or my curls are looking a little limp and stringy and just not what I'm used to, I know it's time for me to kind of up my protein a little bit more. So these products are what I'm gonna reach for if I want to give myself a little bit more strengthening and to give my curls some more elasticity and some extra bounce. So this one was actually my number one favorite protein treatment for years. Like, I can't even remember how long I've been using this, seven, eight years. It used to be number one until, you probably already know which one it is, but um, it was kind of dethroned this year, but it's still freaking amazing. The Curl Junkie Repair Me Restructive Hair Treatment. This used to be the strongest protein product in my stash but it also had the unique distinction of being incredibly moisturizing and softening. I have used this after coloring my hair, after I texturized my hair, I would use this to help to repair it and keep it strong and help to decrease like split ends and things like that. It's really, really reparative, but it infuses so much additional moisture along with the protein that I never found the need to follow up with a separate moisturizing conditioner. It's so good. I of course have a review on this one because this was and still is to a certain extent because it's in my favorites video like a holy grail for me like top 10 type of level. So, so I love this product. It is a lot pricier than my number one favorite now. This is 12 ounces for $29 but again Curl Mart is like so amazing for getting a ton of different high quality brands all in one place. Get this on sale, stock up on it. If it's one of your favorites, Curl Mart is the place where I get it. So I will continue to repurchase this on sale just because it has so much moisture along with the protein included. So my number one that I have been raving about all year, you guys probably know, the Apogee Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor. Now normally this would not be something that I would reach for up until about a year or so ago. It's got mineral oil in it, it's got silicones, but the fact is that this stuff works. It was one of the only products that I could remember from recent memory that worked instantly. I was like, what is the trick here? I was having so much breakage, so many of those little like wispy, broken hairs in the shower consistently. My curls were looking busted. I didn't know what to do. So I just, again, main objective. She is one of my favorite bloggers. Her reviews are so awesome. She had colored her hair and used this and said that it helped to save her hair. So after a while, I was like, forget the silicones, forget the mineral oil, let's just see if this works. And it does, it works so awesome. I apply this to my hair, rinse it out, and I don't see any more breakage. And usually for someone who sees breakage at every step of her wash day, that was huge. So I get this from Sally's. I bought three for Black Friday because I can't be without this. In fact, I'm gonna be using it next wash day because it's about time for a protein treatment. Time for the leave-in conditioners. So this is the only product that I don't know if it's still available or not, but in the hopes that it will be, I'm including it because it's awesome. And it's the Camille Rose Holiday Collection Leave-In Conditioner. I love this stuff so much. It smells like, oh my goodness, it smells so amazing like vanilla and cinnamon and nutmeg, some caramel undertones, it smells delicious. And this is usually on my annual Black Friday haul list. And I went on Camille Rose's website and they had the deep conditioner from the holiday collection, but they didn't have the leave-in. I was like, what the heck? I kept looking and looking thinking I overlooked it. It's not there. So I'm hoping this isn't gone for good because it is so just, it plays well with all of my heavy hitter gels, all my favorite gels. It gives you so much moisture. The smell is 
on another level. It smells so good. So I hope that this is going to come back in the future because it's year round, even this is the, from the Holly collection, it's good. Spring, summer, winter, fall, it's a great product. Another one from Camille Rose that I love is their Coconut Water Leave-In Detangling Hair Treatment. This was one of my favorite leave-in conditioners last year and it still is this year as well. It gives you a ton of moisture. It has this like strange balmy consistency that really adheres to my hair. So, but I love it. It gives you so much smoothing. So it's good for prepping before adding your sealer and your styler and it gives you a lot of moisture. Another product that I have been using, I have so many products here that I've been using over the past like 10 years in some cases and I love that my hair like can go back to something that I've been using for such a long time and still get such great results and this one is a product that I was just trying to use up to get it out of my stash but I've been using this almost exclusively as my main leave-in conditioner for the past like two and a half months I've rediscovered how much I love this it's the curl junkie smoothing lotion it smells like pink sugar got that like cotton candy thing that you know that I love and it just has been doing so well. It's not the most moisturizing leave-in conditioner I've ever tried in my life, but it gives you a really good amount of moisture. It's very lightweight, so it absorbs into the hair very, very well. It smells great, it has good ingredients, and it plays well under so many different stylers. So it's just really versatile, and for that, I'm gonna keep purchasing it, and it's all the way up to one of my favorites of this year because it's just worked so well. I actually, I think this was one of my first reviews here on YouTube back when I was like deep into my transition. So this takes me back. So Another Curl Junkie product that I don't have because I use it up is my Curl Junkie Argan and Olive Daily Hair Conditioner. That was one of my, if not my favorite leave-in conditioner for the past four or five years or so that's another one of my first reviews on YouTube that stuff was amazing the combination of argan oil and olive oil just gave my hair so much moisture I was able to use that on wet hair dry hair again it played well with any gel that I put it with and I just had amazing results and it probably still would be number one if it wasn't for this one right here this is y'all this is probably like the MVP of my entire 2016 Shea Moisture Super Fruit Rinse Out, the best leave-in conditioner I've ever tried, bar none, is so good. I just love this stuff. I think this is one of my last bottles, so I'm going to need Walgreens or someone to have a buy one get one free because I need to stock up. This is just on a whole nother level. It revitalizes my hair so much and gives me so much intense moisture. I'm probably going to use this next wash day because I want to kind of like treat my hair and this is definitely something I reach for when I want to do that. So those are all of my leave-in conditioners that have been just doing it for me this year. So next up in the wash day is sealants. So what I've been doing a lot over the past six months or so is I've kind of gone from using a oil or a butter after my leave-in conditioner and I've added a step. I've been using butter creams and the benefit that I found is that they have the water-based quality to give me additional moisture on top of my leave-in plus they have butters so it seals that in further. So the two butter creams of choice for me have been the Beige Floor Naturals Creme Brulee and it says that it's a moisturizer and styler. It's, it's not loose. It's not going anywhere when I do like that. And it smells like cinnamon. It's delicious. I have used this as a styler as well as my moisturizer and my sealant and it's just so great. It has hold, so if you're someone who's not a fan of gel, this is a great product. But for me, after I apply my leave-in conditioner and I apply this, I have such a moisturized, smooth base that I got some of my longest lasting wash and goes this year by incorporating this product and also some of the best twist outs that I had all year as well. This stuff is great. Another one that you guys have seen me mention on Instagram and Facebook and here on YouTube also a lot this year is the Kemet Biologics Burdot Root Butter Cream. This is something that I used the first time that I was natural back in like 2007, 2008. Such a great product. It's very, very lightweight, but it has so much moisture for it to be something marketed for fine, thin hair. I have very, very thick hair, and I find that this has the perfect consistency for me. I can use it on wet hair, dry hair. It does such a great job. And just like the Beige Floor Creme Brulee, 
I use it after a leafy conditioner and it gives me so much more additional moisture and so much better wash days overall. Both of them are like tied for first. The next category is hair oils. Now I am someone who uses them pretty much every other day in my regimen. I'll use an oil to massage my scalp, I'll use it on my ends to give me some extra softness and to help preserve my ends. I use oils, wet hair, dry hair, you name it, they are a huge part in my regimen. They are probably the most used hair category in my entire stash because I use them in so many different ways. So first we're going to talk about Eden Body Works. I have fallen in love with their Coconut Shea um, All Natural Hair Oil. This is just a really nice simple oil blend. It's very lightweight so you can use it on wet hair and dry hair. I tend to prefer it on dry hair because it gives such great shine and a lot of softness but the thing that turns it on level like 10 for me is the scent. It smells like a lush tropical coconut paradise it smells absolutely amazing very very nice fragrance so i'll even use a lot of my oils for like a hair perfume because some of them have really awesome fragrances and this is one of them it smells absolutely delicious and it does really good for the health of my hair as well now the second product from eden body works is their peppermint tea tree oil this has been a mainstay for me for about two years it feels so good on my scalp when i have like any itchiness or anything like that or if I just want to do like a really nice soothing scalp massage because the pepperminty fragrance and the sensation feels so awesome on my scalp and I just love this stuff. I've also used it to seal my hair when it's wet with really good results but I tend to prefer that one on my scalp only just because of how awesome it feels. Now the next company for my oils is Hair Veda. I have their Vatika Frosting. This is basically just souped up coconut oil. It's got coconut oil, amla, henna, lemon extract, and fragrance. And that's it. Really nice and simple. It smells like cupcakes. It gives awesome shine. I tend to prefer coconut oil on dry hair if I'm using like something that's just mostly coconut oil. It does better that way for me. And my next oil is the Hervada Kokasta Shikaki Oil. I think it's now known as the Shikaki herbal uh, hair oil but I had this big jar so or this big bottle so I haven't ordered from them in quite a while because I had like three of these or something and this is my last one it is basically uh, castor oil sweet almond oil and it's got some extracts in there as well it smells so awesome this is like a nice rich oil because it's castor oil based but it's not as thick as castor because you have some other oils in there which helps to cut the viscosity so it's not super duper thick so this is great for me to seal my ends when they're wet after I apply my leave-in conditioner or over my gel or whatever combination on wet hair. This does such a great job at sealing in additional moisture and really giving me some awesome shine and smoothness to my ends. So if I had to pick a favorite, I'd have to do a tie for the oil category. This is just so great on wet hair to seal in moisture and it smells amazing. And this one from Eden Body Works is just so good on my scalp. It feels so refreshing. And rounding out the wash day favorites is a good styler. So, and these two, I don't know, you guys. There was almost an upset this year for my favorite gel. And I would have to say Uncle Funky's Daughter is still the reigning champion for my favorite styler of all time. It has, and that's probably because of the slip. I think that's what puts it over the edge of the other gel that I'm going to talk about. The slip on this is just so good. I mentioned in my top 10 detangling products, this is a product I'll use sometimes just to help to untangle a really bad knot. It's that good. It gives me such good definition. I have it in my hair right now. That was my styler that I use for this wash and go. The Curly Magic for me is something I can use every single wash day and get the same consistent good results no matter if I'm doing a wash and go or a twist out that's going to be coming up. So a set of twists, it does a great job. It's like a no fail type of product. So for that reason is why it's probably still my number one, Neil Rose Curl Maker. I love this stuff so much. It gives me really, really great definition, almost identical to the Curly Magic. The only reason that the Curly Magic might edge this one out is because it has a little bit more slip. That's, that's the only little bit that it has over this. But this has given me some of the best hair days of the year 
great wash and go results, awesome twists and twist outs. I might even have to do like a head to head, like one side of my head is the Curly Magic and the other is the Curl Maker, just to see, just to see. So I think that's gonna be one of my upcoming videos. So this year I've made a really conscious effort to re-moisturize my hair more after wash day because I have been known to, in the past, go like 11 days between styling my hair and another wash day without putting any other product on my hair except maybe oil. But I wanted to do something that was going to give my hair more moisture in between wash days and really focus on that to see if that would help me combat dryness. The Uncle Funky's Daughter Good Hair. This product is so good on dry hair. It's another one that didn't do as well for me on wet hair, but using this to re-moisturize your hair about like a few days after wash day to give it some extra moisture, it does a phenomenal job. It has a very slippy, creamy texture, so it's really good if you wanna just put your hair into a bun while re-moisturizing, or just doing it on like loose hair, and it absorbs really, really quickly. This one, again, shining star this year, the Comet Burdock Root Buttercream. It gives you so much deep penetrating moisture. If I'm on like my last leg before I need to wash my hair, if I apply this product, sometimes I can get an extra three or four days because my hair feels so good and so hydrated. And of course, this, what is this, like the third time we've seen this? Yeah, this stuff is amazing. The Shea Moisture Super Fruit, good on wet hair, dry hair. Such a great product. It gives me such good juicy, strands before it's time for me to wash my hair again. So that is everything for my wash day from pre-pooing, cleansing, conditioning, styling, even beyond to the re-moisturizing efforts that I've been trying to do this year. But I do have some miscellaneous products that I was looking around in my stash like, I don't know where to put you. So these are also things that I have absolutely loved in 2016 but I just don't know how to classify them. So Another one that you might have just seen is my last review, which is the Camille Rose Growth and Shine Balm. I really like this. This is almost like a, another smoother for me, even though it like emulsifies into like a nice buttery consistency. It's really good on wash and goes. I used it to give me some softness and a little bit extra shine to this wash and go, because it was feeling a little bit dry. So it does good on wash and goes without disturbing your curls and frizzing them out. And it also does good on twists and twist outs for giving you some smoothness and just doing a really great job. Plus again, I love the ingredients on this one. Next up is my Sorenzo Clay Wash. I absolutely love this stuff. I didn't want to put it in the shampoo category because even though it's a cleanser, this is like a special case type of thing. I'll use this if I want to deep clean my hair, but I want to reset it also, if that makes sense. So sometimes when I use a clarifying shampoo, it'll get all the grime out, but it won't leave me with the softness that this does. This is what I'll use if I really want to pamper my hair, deep clean it, but also use a really luxurious deep conditioner afterwards that'll just soak, my hair will just soak it in because this has gotten everything off of it, and it just gives me such great definition. Now that I have more jars of it after my Black Friday haul, I'll probably be using it a little bit more often. So it might become like an official cleanser that I rotate more often so that I have more than one jar. But yeah, this stuff is amazing. And last but not least for my favorite products of 2016 is the Obia Naturals Curl Hydration Spray. This is one of the only sprays in so many I've tried over the years that I really can see what the hype is about. It's not just like spraying water on my hair. I feel like it gives me so much moisture and slip and I will use this in putting my hair up into a bun before I add a moisturizer and I'll also use it sometimes if I want to give my hair an extra treat as I'm styling it before a section can dry out, I'll spray this to give a base layer of moisture before I even apply my leave-in. So these have been the products that I have absolutely loved above all this year. I feel that 2016 has been the best year as far as my hair goes. Since I've been natural, I've had some of the best hair days. I feel like my hair is the healthiest it's been in a really long time. So I think this is a really nice new um, page turning in my natural hair journey so I'm really excited to see what next year and beyond brings 
this is what I'm loving now but as you guys know I've been hauling a lot this year so things may change this time next year who knows I am gonna be doing an updated favorites video in the summertime just since that's given me a lot of time to try some new things maybe some of this stuff may still be going hard on the list so I'll do an updated favorites video in the summertime as well to um, see what the list is looking like then please let me know what you've been loving this year what is some of your standouts have been thank you so much for watching I appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much for subscribing and taking the time out to watch my videos I'm so excited and glad that you guys enjoy them it means a lot to me I will be having a giveaway next year so definitely keep an eye out for that I have some things that I've been gathering for it over the past few months so I can't wait to share that information with you guys you guys are amazing and I will see you next year you guys have a really safe and happy new year take care guys bye